A volunteer boat project totaling nearly six and a half million dollars saw the light of day for the first time in Sausalito. KTVU's Tom Vacar was there for the unveiling of the Matthew Turner. Tom, take it away. Wowie Zowie, take a look. She may hearken from a distant past, but the fact is she will soon be one of the crown jewels of San Francisco Bay. At a length of 131 feet, and ultimately weighing in at 175 tons, the handmade twin-masted tall ship Matthew Turner sure doesn't look like the newest ship on the bay, but tomorrow it will be. It's named after the longtime builder of tall ships who built 228 such ships in Mission Bay and Benicia in the 1800s and early 1900s when such ships ruled the waves. He built the first ships for the Matson line. Brigantines, just like this is. He built them for the CNH Sugar and Spreckles. The idea for the ship came 30 years ago. The design process and fundraising began 15 years ago. Construction, almost all of it by hundreds of dedicated volunteers, took four years. She'll be put in the water tomorrow, where in the next two months, her masts, rigging, and sails will be installed. For education, primarily for youth, uh, youth of all ages and all backgrounds, uh, although we do have adult programs also. That's a good idea. I don't know if kids nowadays really understand sailing ships, but I like the, the concept. Volunteer shipbuilders are in awe of those who built the original Turner sailing ships. Tough as nails. I can't imagine. I can't imagine doing this without modern equipment. I, can't, I, I think about it, it's, it's baffling to, to, do, to think about doing this work without power tools. None of us working on it have ever done anything like this. We've done boats on a smaller scale, but nothing this epic. Hundreds of spectators came today just to see it towed a few hundred feet to where it would be put into the water tomorrow. It but means so much to the whole community, and it's such, um, it's good for the entire Bay Area. See the um, ship going down this narrow road here? Mm -hmm. Partly just to see the amaze, the, how they're going to do it, because it's an amazing engineering feat. Now, the Matthew Turner is scheduled to sail to Mexico in December for four months. Later, it will participate in the Transocean Pacific Cup race, but don't be surprised sometime around Fleet Week if you happen to see it out in the Bay prominently displayed. Reporting live, Tom Vacar, KTVU Fox 2 News. All right, Tom. My guess is you enjoyed this assignment today, right? <laughs> yeah, you, you don't get these very often, so yeah, it was a terrifically good time. And what a terrific accomplishment. It's just remarkable what they did, because that was made out of literally old redwood trees that were donated. That's cool. That's good awesome. Stuff. Nice job, Tom. Tom Vacar, live.